Hey everyone! It's been such a long time since I last filmed something and uploaded something because the past few months have been busy for me. It's been a lot of changes. If you have watched my previous videos, you would know that I moved from Beppu to Tokyo. I lived in Tokyo for a few weeks before moving again to my home country, Indonesia. I stayed in Indonesia for two months. I had the opportunity to visit my family, meet my friends, and I also had a few weeks to make my visa because I have relocated to Bangkok, Thailand. And I'm going to be here for a few months. I don't think I'm going to dive into details about why I'm here in Bangkok, but if you're curious, to hear about that, I can make a vlog or another talking video like this. But for today's video, as you see in the title, I want to talk about APU. It's made on Asia Pacific University. I think at this time of the year, application for the 2024 fall admission is happening. So I've been receiving a lot of DMs and comments about just the basic stuff that you would want to know before applying or accepting your offer from APU. A lot of the questions I have received are very similar to one another. I've compiled some of the questions here on my phone. I just want to say that I don't have a script, so I'm just answering as I go. So I'm going to divide the questions into four. The first part is application. The second part is student life in Peppu, Japan. The third part, very short, I just only have one question, it's post-graduation. So before we dive into the first category, which is application, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit first because I haven't done that yet. My name is Namira. I am from Indonesia. I studied at APU from 2019 to 2023. So I feel like it should be mentioned that I did spend more than two years of my student life in APU under COVID restrictions. So my student life in APU may not be as complete as other people but nevertheless i actually really enjoyed my time at apu i give it 10 out of 10. another thing is i studied under the 2017 curriculum and i think if you're planning to enroll in the fall 2024 semester you're going to be studying under the 2023 curriculum which might be different than mine but i'm actually not sure how different it is so just keep that in mind. I'm going to be answering the questions based on my experience. Okay, now let's start the first category, application. Do I need to be able to speak Japanese? Short answer, no. Long answer, if you want to survive, yes. At least really basic Japanese, I would say until intermediate level. So when applying to APU, you don't need to worry if you have zero knowledge of Japanese. A lot of my friends from my first semester, they didn't even know how to say thank you and they survived just fine. A few weeks, I think, before the start of your first semester, you will have a Japanese placement test. You will try to answer the questions the best that you can. And if you cannot, which a lot of people do, you can just leave it empty. <laughs> and if you do that, APU will put you into Japanese Foundation 1, which is the beginner level of Japanese. But if you do know a little bit of Japanese and that reflects well on your placement test, APU will put you maybe in Foundation 3 or maybe immediately into Intermediate or maybe even Advanced, who knows. But you don't need to worry, most people start in Foundation 1. And just for your information, the mandatory levels for Japanese classes in APU is from Foundation 1 to Intermediate. I'm not sure this has changed, but I think it hasn't. Are there scholarships available? Yes, but let me give you an advice. I would advise you to research instead of asking me. If you type on Google APU scholarship, Google will lead you to APU's website where it shows a bunch of scholarship that you might be able to apply to. And if you have difficulties finding scholarships in the APU website that are for you, then I would suggest that you look for scholarships from your country, from your government, or from private organizations in your country that provide 
financial aid. However, there is one thing that I would like you to know and remember. For international applicants, based on your application quality and your interview quality, you might be given tuition reduction. There's 30%, 50%, 65 80% and 100% So if your application is super super good, they might give you 100 That means you don't have to pay a single yen of tuition Basically, please do your research on the AP website And don't forget to look for scholarships from your countries other than scholarships, there is this thing called tuition reduction. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of applying to scholarships, make sure that your application is good enough to receive a huge percentage of tuition reduction. And that's clear. What should I write in my personal statement? I feel like this depends on the major that you're applying to and your passion and what you want to do in the future. So I would suggest that you take some time and reflect. You think about what major you want to choose, an issue that you're passionate about, what kind of job or field that you might want to pursue in the future. Obviously, this doesn't have to be very specific. This doesn't have to be very detailed. You don't even have to know specifically what kind of role you want to work as in the future. You just have to have an image and you have to show that you are passionate. Things that I think you should include in your personal statement, your passion, what major you want, why that major, what's an issue that you care about, what do you want to work as or where do you want to work at in the future, why APU, why this university specifically, why Japan. I think you need to be very self-aware when you're writing your personal statement. You need to know what you're doing. You can't just be applying because I want to go to Japan because it doesn't work like that. You have to know how APU is going to help you in the long term, both personally and professionally. I hope that answers it. What are the interview questions? I have received probably 20, 30 DMs asking this question. Again, as I said previously, this would definitely depend on the major that you are applying to. I am did I mention my major? I did not. Did I? My major is International Relations and Peace Studies, so I'm going to be answering based on that. You will be asked to briefly introduce yourself. I'm not sure I can go into details about how you can do this, but there are a lot of guides on the internet, so you can go through that or I can tell you if you message me directly. <laughs> And then they asked me what my hobbies are. I think they want to know if I'm curious about other people's cultures or how my personality is. And they want to know how I de-stress, I think. But just answer truthfully. Another question is a challenge I have overcome. I remember I talked about my experience managing an event in high school. You can talk about whatever, it doesn't have to be in a professional setting, it can be just a personal struggle. The next question is why do you want to study your major? So for me it's IR, why do you want to study IR? What global issue are you passionate about? What global issue is happening right now? The other question I remember is APU related. What do I want to do in APU? both academic and extracurricular. For this, you can mention the classes that you want to take and for extracurricular, you can mention the student clubs that you want to join or student clubs that you want to make. Those are the questions that I remember from my interview. My interview lasted, it wasn't even an hour, it was probably 30 minutes if I remember correctly. 20 to 30 minutes. It felt like it ended in two minutes. Let's go to the next question. Will the university assist in my visa application? No. The only thing that the university will do regarding your visa application is that they will provide you with this document called Certificate of Eligibility for Status of Residence or COE. You will only be able to submit your visa application once you have received this 
documents called COE. But for the submission of the application, you will be the one doing it. Or you can ask someone else to do it, but in general, the university will not submit it for you. Will the university arrange my flight to Japan? No. You are responsible for your own flight, you are responsible for your own schedule, you are responsible for your own timely arrival, which is preferably around two weeks before the first day of class. So you buy the ticket your own, you can arrange with your friends obviously, but again, the university will not arrange your flight for you. Will the university automatically assign us to a room in the dorm? No, you have to apply. As far as I know, living in the dorm is not mandatory, but they do strongly encourage you to do it, at least for one year, because Japan will be a new country for you, and the dorm is a place for you to make friends and also learn about the customs, the laws, and the rules of the Japanese society. And answering the question, you will not be automatically assigned, you have to apply. And I think you can choose now between AP House 5 or 1 and 2. What should I bring to Japan? I have been asked this question a lot of times. And one thing that I always tell them is you do not need to bring your whole wardrobe. Trust me, you don't need to bring all 10 of your favorite sweaters. You will probably only wear one of two of them and then buy more here. Your sense of style, your fashion sense will definitely change here because it's just so different from your country. I can guarantee it because that happened to me and most of my friends. We ended up selling a lot of our clothes in Japan. So you do not need to fill your luggage with clothes. But I would suggest that you bring things that you like in your country that might be hard to get in Japan. For me, I brought sambal, chili sauce, spicy sauce, I'm not sure what the correct translation is. And I also brought instant noodles, indomie from my country. Bring something like that, something that is hard to get in Japan, not clothes. Just bring some of your clothes and then you can buy some more here. Unless of course, unless of course, you have promised yourself to not do some shopping, then that's a different case. I hope that's clear. I'm not trying to tell you to shop here. I'm just saying that based on my experience and my friends' experience, we ended up buying a lot of stuff here. Don't repeat our mistakes. And that is it for the first category, which is application. Now let's move on to our second category, which is student life in Beppu, Japan. 